Hey, I have here another integral from MIT Integration B 2015. Problem number seven. We have integral of dx over five plus four square root of x plus x. Okay, right away, first thing I need to deal with is this right here. We're not used to having, we want a polynomial or a quadratic in the um, denominator. Now, if I do a u substitution here, the good thing about that is this will be a quadratic. This will become a square term. So let's see how that's gonna work. Let's see what happens if I make my u substitution. We'll make u equal to the square root of x. So x equals u squared. And then dx is gonna be 2u du. We'll go ahead and make that substitution. So first for our dx, we're gonna have 2u du in the numerator. Five plus, we're gonna have a four u and x is u squared. Then I can factor the denominator so what I'm gonna do is, we'll take half of this, so we'll do u plus, then half of four is two, so we'll do u plus two squared. So it's gonna be u squared plus four u plus four, but we need an extra one in order to get back to five. This is starting to look more like something we can do. What I wanna do, I'm just gonna make another substitution for u plus two. I'm gonna say v equals u plus two. Nice thing about this is dv, Take the derivative of this is just gonna be du. Derivative of two is zero, so dv is du. But we're gonna need a value for u, so let's also write, let's do this up here. We'll say u, just subtract two from both sides. u is gonna be v minus two. Now we'll make that second substitution. So two u is gonna be v minus two in the denominator. We're just gonna have du is dv. And then we're gonna have for u plus two is v, so we're gonna have v squared plus one. Next, all I did is I distributed my two inside here to get two V minus four. And then when I can split this into two integrals. I think they're both gonna be easy to solve when we do that. So we'll have two V dV over V squared plus one. Then for our second integral, we're gonna have minus, I'm gonna pull the four out front of the integral and we're just gonna have dV over V squared plus one. And both these, like I said, are pretty easy. Um, the derivative of v squared plus one is two v dv. So this is gonna work nice. And then this is just gonna be arctan. So we'll integrate this and we're gonna have, for the first one, natural log of v squared plus one. I'm gonna drop, we don't need absolute values. This is always positive. Then we'll have minus four arctan or inverse tan of v plus c. Now we just need to back substitute this whole thing and finish it off. I think what I want to do to do this in one step, we can look at our v, we're going to back substitute v, v is u plus two, but then we're going to have to, we're going to, have to just substitute again. So what I can do is u is actually square root of x. So to do this in one step, we can say v is square root of x plus two. Okay, now we just need to back substitute to finish this off. So we're going to have natural log v squared plus one. v squared plus one actually just takes us back to what we had in the denominator here. If you square that out and add one, you get back our five plus four squared x plus x. Then we have a minus four tan inverse, and our v is just square root of x plus two plus c, and we're done. That was MIT 2015 problem seven. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a good day.